Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of the interior of MS Brazil. This is by Zero Wido. It is 721.18 megabytes to download for PC and Mac only. I'm going to go ahead and start off by reading the description and we'll go ahead and get into it. It says a region based on several areas of the interior of the state of Mato Grosso de Sul. Uh, with a small town and a highway that crosses the map with, a small, with small, medium and large fields. There are 95 purchasable plots of land, 45 fields, several points of sale, several production points, new products, biogas, sawmill, dairy, flour factory, brick factory, mining, and collectibles. All farmhouses and houses in the city can be removed individually by cutting a plate with the chainsaw behind each one. Pretty cool. Al says, attention, I recommend starting the map with only the necessary mods without the DLCs and other mods that add new fill types. This can change the mining products, dirt and sand. Later, you can activate the mods if you want. So. Uh, there you go, and there are several required mods which will download automatically if you um, download it from the in-game mod hub. And here we are in the store. We can go into the purchase menu there. And then we have automatic doors, and we have a repair trigger out here, which is pretty sweet. So, yeah, a really cool little store down here. Big old area over there. The front is just out this way. Maybe. That's, I guess, the back exit there, but we can probably go out this way. There we go. Is there a gate over there? Okay, yeah, there's gates on each side. We have lizard motors. Pretty cool. Uh, let's hop into the menu here. We're over here. That's where the shop is at. Our starting farm is just chunk 17 right there, uh, which we'll take a look at that. 163,000 if we wanted to sell that. Um, you can buy most of the map. Not all of it, though. You can buy most things. There are a couple little peripheral areas in the river you can't buy. Um, yeah, but anyhow, not too bad. We go into here, this is a custom crop calendar for sure. And we have millet as a new crop type down there. We go in here, we definitely have some new stuff in here. So we have millet, we have soybean oil, UHT milk, canned corn, canned olives, yogurt, tomato sauce, ketchup, pallets, carrots, watermelon, cabbage, soy milk, maintenance tools, mining equipment, rebar, vehicle parts, gas, wooden beams, long boards, cement, concrete blocks, trash, chocolate cake, concrete beams, concrete slabs, bricks, concentrated herbicide, concentrated liquid fertilizer, dirt, sand, packet of charcoal, and that is everything. Um, and all there's a ton of different new productions on here. And if you haven't ever played on a zero Wido map, a lot of these are on all of those. So there you go. Uh, we do have uh, quite a few pieces of starting equipment in the store here. We'll take a look at those in a minute. We start with $100,000 in new farm mode, no starting loan. We do start off with 20 cows right off the bat in our Brazilian cow barn. And they have a uh, total mix ration um, already in their form. And it does say water up here. So it looks like this barn you have to provide water to. There are contracts in the fields we do not own, and we don't own any production chains to start out, and there are 22 collectibles. So, uh, yeah. Now, one thing I want to note here, we go to harvesters. These guys are going to be able to harvest your millet. We go back out here. You'll be able to harvest it with a regular grain header there, and you should be able to plant it with a regular cedar. We'll make sure of that, though. Yep, right there, regular cedar. So that's basically how you do millet. It's going to be like any other grain crop. Uh, since we're in the town, let's take a look around a couple things we have here. We should have... That truck is just on. That is loud. <laughs> but pretty cool. Can we open this up? Ah, not gonna open. Well, it's a 7 to 1800. That should be open then. Hmm. Maybe if we have to go just past an hour here. Just to make sure. Sometimes it just, when you're loading to a new map, it just needs that to do it. But automatic. That thing is loud and running. And then we have a cell point right in here, which this is the. Uh, supermarket sell point. Um, we will walk around this area here. Um, probably actually all of this. We may even walk down here and then we'll we'll hop over to the starting farm and kind of go from there. Make sure we hit everything. I'm going to turn the help menu off there. Yeah, let's actually run out towards... Can we easily get out there? Maybe we got to go this way first. Graphic is really cool on this map. You can see there's some goods there getting unloaded. Yeah, it's a very cool map, that's for sure. Let's run across here. We have the fuel point right over here. Oh, trucks are coming along. Big highway. Fuel point here, which is pretty sweet. Lots of good detail. Cars are driving everywhere. And there is a repair trigger right over there, which is awesome, too. I like that a lot of like the stationary trucks are just running. It's just kind of something that's a little bit different. We run down this highway. I'm just going to show off some of the things that are down this way. On the left-hand side here, we have one point of interest, which get into right here but just in here we have ourselves the warehouse for selling grains you can see cell points are going to be in there but yeah and on the other side i don't think we even need to go in there 
we have the logistics distribution center. So yeah, let's hop back over to this fuel point, head back into the town to take a look at the rest of it. So across the way over here, we have several cell points that are kind of in this alleyway, which we can click to open that. So right here, we have the bakery, then we have the restaurant cell point and the woodworks on the other side. So bakery and restaurant cell point are in here. Let's hop out of here. Let's go around. Woodworking cell point should be just around the corner here. Zero Weedo usually does a really good job at making some very detailed uh, towns and things like that. Is it over here? Yep, here it is. So you can buy this. The woodwork building. I'm assuming it's going to work like a carpentry point. But it's still cool nonetheless. A bus terminal over there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, the pizzeria and stuff's over here. We have further up the road. Pizzeria cell point. And then we have... What else we got here? We got the clothing store and the building materials. So clothing store. Oh, that's building materials. Clothing store is going to be right there. If we go around the back, we should be able to access like an alley to sell to them. That truck's running there too, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so building materials here. Pretty cool. And then in this back alley, if I can get in there, we have the clothing store and the pizzeria, which you can access right here, which is very cool. Now, if we go across the main road here again, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice today. Uh, if we go across over here, we got a couple other things. So here we have the tailor shop and then the spinnery. So tailor shop and the spinnery here. And you have all the access to those in this back alley, which looks like is accessed right through here. You got that going for you. We run just around this corner here. We have this cell point right here, which is the recyclable material. And that is everything that's in kind of the town area right here. So um, let's hop up over to our starting farm. Um, I actually think we'll, well, yeah, we can we can jump over there. Let's jump up over to the cow pen. Um, and then one of our fields is right here. But the main entrance to our farm is through this corn. Let's go just get over here to start. This is where we would enter right here off of the road. So we'll be able to enter here, come up this way. We have the cows on the left-hand side as we're coming up the drive. And we have the other side of our field right over there. So it's kind of interesting just these two little small chunks of field. Like they just kind of worked them into the land, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, let's take a look at what we start off with in new farmer mode. We have a Valtra T280 CVT chip plus plus, which is uh, a mod. Then we also have the Valtra Valmat 8750. For trucks, we have the Scania P410, which is a mod as well. For harvesters, we have the New Holland TC59, also a mod. For cars, we have the F-350 Automatic, which is pretty cool. They have that in there as a mod for your starting truck. Then this is going to be on the back of the truck there. And then we have a header for our harvester and a corn header as well. Uh, we also have a header trailer. And then we also have a couple more backs for our truck. We have the animal transport there. And we have also this liquid tanker there. So pretty cool. Very useful thing to have. Uh, we have a lime and fertilizer spreader there by Braille. We have a sprayer, which is a Jacko sprayer. That's also a mod. And then we have a planter here, the Lizard Penta 13 row, which is also a mod. And we have a uh, Gokerling Rebel Classic 600T, um, which is a disc carrel. And then finally, we have the bed for our truck. You can see our truck is parked right down here by the house, which is sweet. We work our way around into here. We have a nice big shed here. This is going to be the access for our silo. We have a silo right there. And we have some more stuff just stored and kind of packed in here. We can go out this way in the other side of our field. Some of our different equipment parked out here. Looks like this is lime that you can just pick up off the ground. So I'm going to go up on there. We could test that theory, though. By painting. Yep, sure is. So that's lime. You can you can pick that up and use it if you'd like to. We have access for the cows over here, which if we go in here, we can put up to 400 cows in there. It's pretty sweet. Another storage facility here for our truck. The truck looks really good. And we've got our tractors in there as well. And uh, yeah, the house does have a sleep trigger. I guess I should note that as well. I think we can go in this one. Yep. We can go in here and right out to the garage. I love that. Or right out to the carport, I guess, is more like it. Um, what is this from here? So this open the door. Well, there we go. Turn on. Yeah, here we go. We have the sleep trigger and the wardrobe trigger right in there in the bedroom. Can we go in the other room as well? Sure can. There's our bathroom. Sweet. Nice little house. Perfect for just kind of a single farmer on the move there. Uh, but yeah, now what I want to do, actually, because I think I would rather just 
I think we're just going to do a flyover. Let's just take a look. I want to get up in the air on this map and take a look at it. Let's just do that. We have kind of like a... I love this. Little uh, police checkpoint here. That is fantastic. Love that. Uh, but yeah, there's some huge fields around us. You can see our nice little starting farm. Very dedicated to doing cows right off the bat, so that may not be something you guys are interested in. I'm assuming you can probably sell the cow barn if you wanted to. Yeah, you can sell the cow barn if you wanted to get rid of the cows and make this all a field. You definitely could do that. But uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. And then the town, again, has a lot of really good details, as all of Zero Oedo's maps do. There's the grain cell point and stuff out here that we've seen. You got some nice little bridges going across. The river looks massive and very realistic, quite honestly, especially coming in this way. It's quite nice. A lot of the rivers you get in the game are pretty small, like more like these ones here, but this is more realistic for like an actual river size in real life. For most areas, not everywhere, obviously. There's differences, but um, I think a lot of people just don't want to take up all the space that the river could take if they wanted to make a big one. But yeah, as we go up here, what do we got right down here? Let's see. We go on our map as we're working our way down here. This is the animal dealer, animal dealer cell point, and the manure and liquid manure buy point. We got all that going on down here for you. Look at that river valley. That looks absolutely fantastic. And um, we have some mines and stuff you can see kind of over in that way. We'll just take a look at here. And then right here, we have the flower factory. So I'm assuming that's going to work like the grain mill. We keep moving down here towards the bottom of the map. We have this beautiful little setup down here. All this stuff is very well done. Grain warehouse cell point. There's just a lot of good a lot of good work done on here by uh, Zero Weedo. Does fantastic work. Fantastic modder. Look at that. We got a bulldozer driving around on the area down here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm assuming this is like sand and then like the dirt or whatever the case may be down here. But regardless, these are some of the stuff you can kind of do your mining with and you can sell it off here if you'd like to. Um, gee, I don't see. That's a dump point for sure. You have to buy this chunk of land? No, you can't buy this land. You'd think you'd be able to buy this land. Hmm, that's interesting. I would think... Yeah, I'd think you'd be able to buy this, but I guess not. I hope we can still pick it all up on here. But regardless of that, if you need a trick, if you're on PC, um, to buy the land if it doesn't work for whatever reason. Since PC, Mac only, you can get easy dev tools. Um, go down to here. And... Oh, no, oh, up here. And then set all the farmland to your farm. Or, yeah. And then you could sell all of it off. Or you could set... A specific, uh, a specific farmland, which is probably farmland one. We set that to be ours. That'll probably... Nope, didn't do it. Farmland one, where's that? It's over there. All right, so it's probably the end one, which is going to be at the very end. So I'll show you that. We go farmland 95. And we set that to ours. We go in here. Oh, it didn't do it. 95 is on here too. Well, you might just have to set all of it then. Let's try that. We do all to our farm. Then it'll be going here. Then we get all of the peripheral space. It didn't give us all of it, but it did give us this, which we couldn't buy before. So set it all to you. Then, yeah, it's kind of a pain. You got to set all this back to the other people if you want to. But it does give you access to land if you need to. And up over here, we got a couple productions. We got the mine and cement production points up over here. And then here on the left-hand side, we have a millet field, which looks uh, very similar to sorghum, actually. But, yeah, pretty cool. And this kind of area just looks desolate. Like, it's just been destroyed um yeah interesting there's been probably like a mudslide it kind of almost looks like that a little bit um but yeah up over here there's someone living up here which is kind of cool oh we have down there oh the brick and precast factory it's gonna be right in this area right here a lot of good stuff going on here we get to the kind of the other end of the river and right down here we have a another production we have the dairy production here so if you wanted to own this little dairy you could do that Across the river here, right down below there, we have another little farm area. So you have all these little farm areas, but don't have like any production points or sub points, but pretty cool. So you can kind of set up shop kind of wherever you wanted to if you wanted to do it that way. Up out in this corner, we do have a point of interest. We have the sawmill. That's the sawmill out point for wood chips. Then we also have the coal factory and another coal factory. So a couple of coal factories up tucked away in the back there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice little map. I like it. There's back to our farm. There's another little farm out there as well you could buy. But uh, yeah, back to our farm. We have a little police checkpoint there. And it all looks quite nice. So yeah, I guess I'll let it save there. But uh, yeah, a very cool map. I really like it. I guess that kind of shows up as a field. Is that like an item that's out there? Hmm. 
Kind of looks like, uh, is that potatoes? They're everywhere. Sorghum. What are they growing on all these fields? Um, it's like a light brown. Maybe it's just the field color. But anyhow, pretty cool. There you guys go. That's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.